a falling star and you make a wish Ooh, just remember luck is no such thing one man succeeds while another man fails why is it then you ask the stars of above the planets of life who controls your very soul from the beginning of birth Coming to you live from New York City, you're watching Astrology Numerology Now for Monday, August 14th, 2017. You already know, this is Z Starman, your Astro Life Coach and Professional Astrologer Numerologist, where every week at this time, you know the deal, we bring you the latest astrology news and information. As I've said for 10 years, almost 10 years on Manhattan Neighborhood Network, real astrology and real numerology in real time. We got a lot to talk about on tonight's show. We got so much to, to talk about on tonight's show. I'm gonna ask my control room, could you please close the control room door, please? Thank you very much. Could you guys please close the control room? Thank you. You know, we didn't want any other conversation to get into the studio but that of Z Starman. Now we have a lot to talk about. If you're watching this show on the Spectrum Television Network, you can watch it on channel 1993. So if you're watching on Spectrum TV, you can watch it in high definition television on channel 1993 HD. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Welcome to Astrology, Numerology Now with Z Starman. Now we're about to go over the astrology highlights for August part two. This is part two of the astrology highlights for August 2017, part two. And we've got a lot going on in August already. we got so much going on in August already. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Now, we're going to get ready to say goodbye. Goodbye to Leo season. Goodbye, Leo season. This is the last week of Leo season. Leo season started on, uh, on um, August 22nd, 2017. And it's going to be over with. Uh, a week from this Tuesday. So all the Leos, Leo season is ending. There's a lot of Leos that I like to say happy birthday to. My girl, Laura, my main man, Pi Benny, up in Westchester, New York, who's always watching this show. And so Leos everywhere, happy belated birthday. This is the last week of Leo season. And if it's the last week of Leo season, that means we're getting ready, about a week from today, we're getting ready for Virgo season. Virgo Nation, your time is coming. The sun enters the sign of Virgo. There's a Virgo symbol on August 22nd, 2017 at 619 p.m. in New York City. If you're out in California, the uh, Virgo's time starts at 619 p.m. But if you're living in New York City, for New York City time when the show is broadcast and televised live, Virgo season starts on the 19th uh, or on the 22nd at 619 p.m. So we're saying goodbye to, uh, to Leo season. We're saying hello to Virgo season. And you can call the show. Or any Virgos who are watching the show or listening to the show, give me a call right now. 646-712-9999 is the number to call for the latest astrology news and information with Z Starman, professional astrologer, numerologist. Now, the big astrological news, the big astrological news that everybody is aware of and knows about, and if you don't know, 
Now you know that Mercury is retrograde. Mercury is retrograde. And Mercury has been, is in retrograde. Let me correct that. Can someone get that control room door? Control room, go back to the last graphic, please. We got people walking through the set doing a live show. Mercury is in retrograde. Not Mercury is retrograde because uh, one of my, um, my uh, friends, stay with Mercury in, is in retrograde, please, for a second. Go back to that graphic control room, please. Mercury is in retrograde now. One of my astrology colleagues says Mercury is retrograde. That's like saying it's giving it an adjective. That, that's what it is. But it is in retrograde temporarily from August 12th to September 5th. Now, you hear a lot of people say that Mercury is retrograde. But that's not the correct saying. The correct way to say it is Mercury is in retrograde. Now, all you seasoned astrologers and viewers of the show for the last 10 years, you know what that's all about. You know what Mercury retrograde is all about. It's a cosmic timeout. It's a time for starting over. It's a time where we have to slow down and figure things out. I've said this a thousand times, and, and, and a lot of you are out there already know what a Mercury retrograde is. You already know that it's a cosmic timeout. What is a Mercury retrograde? A Mercury retrograde, once again, if we were to look at the evening sky, because you can't see the planets and stars in the daytime, if we were to look at, to look at the evening sky, we would see the planet Mercury with a, this telescope or our naked eye. It would appear that it's moving backwards against the backdrop of the stars and the planets. Now, let, let's be clear about this. Mercury or no other planet, and there are a couple of planets that are retrograde right now, like Uranus and Neptune, they do not stop in their tracks or stop in their orbit and all of a sudden move backwards. That's not how astrology works. It's, it's about speed. One planet is slowing down and the other one is moving faster. Again, planets do not stop in their track and all of a sudden move backwards like this. It's that one planet is passing another planet or that other planet is slowed down. And you get the similar effect when Mercury or when you're riding a subway, as most New Yorkers do, you're in the express train and you pass the local train who is moving forward also, but it gives off that optical illusion that the local train is moving backwards. You ever see that? You're on the express train. Sometimes when I'm on the A and I'm passing the C, it looks uh, like it's going backwards. And with that said, I want to say hello to all my viewers who are watching on the BCAT channel in Brooklyn, in, in Brooklyn, New York. Now, just to break down what this Mercury retrograde is all about, it's a visual thing. It's a visual thing. And again, the key word, it appears to be moving backwards. It's backward retrograde motion is starting in the sign of Virgo. It's going to go back into the sign of Leo. Any retrograde is a cosmic timeout. And there are some rules of thumbs to a Mercury retrograde. Let's show them that uh, Mercury retrograde uh, with all the Rs in it, uh, control room. Now, in Mercury retrograde, you have all the Rs, rethink. Review, repair, readvise. You have the prefix re, reflect. All these things are for you to like get a cosmic timeout and say, hold up, wait a minute, let's try it all over again. Review, reflect, re, uh, re, reappear. One thing about reappearance, a lot of people will see friends and lovers and people they haven't seen in their lives and heard from in their lives doing a Mercury retrograde. So when Mercury retrograde comes, one of the things that we do, and this is for everyone, is that we back up our computer files. We back up our computer files because files get lost. Watch your hard drive. Sometimes hard drives get exposed. There's always delays. 
things are always running slower than usual, but it, Mercury is the planet of information. And again, this retrograde is in the sign of Leo, so a lot of you, excuse me, in the sign of Virgos and in the sign of Leo. It's going to affect everyone. And we see already the effects of Mercury retrograde. Let's show them that one more time so I, they can't say that Starman didn't tell them. Let's show them that read logo again, control room. Again, reflect, repair, revise, redo. You don't care if you're Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, whatever your sun sign is or your rising sign is. We're all under the influence of Mercury retrograde at this time. And if you want to know how Mercury retrograde affects you and yours in your astrology chart, give me a call right now. I'm ready to talk about it. 212-757-1393. If you're in Harlem, if you're on the Upper East Side, if you're on the Lower East Side, if you're watching this show on MNN.org in places like Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Seattle, Hawaii, Dallas, Texas, they watch this show all over the world. And i like to give a shout out to a good buddy of mine, my good friend, Pam Webster, the princess or the queen of Anguilla. Hello, Pam. Thank you for watching the show. 212-757-1393. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces. Holla at your boy, Z Starman. Get the latest astrology news and information as it relates to you. Now, again, with Mercury in retrograde, you know, one thing about Mercury in retrograde is that I find that people, they become very careless during Mercury retrograde. A lot of people will all, well, blame it on Mercury retrograde and Mercury retrograde is the responsible for this and Mercury retrograde is responsible for that. But during a Mercury retrograde, you have to take responsibility. You can't just be leaving your, your phone any place and your computer any place, because that's what Mercury does. It's, it scrambles your thinking. Let's show them that graphic, uh, again, control room, with the keep calm. And again, we have to keep calm because Mercury is in retrograde. Mercury is retrograde. That's like saying Zaki is black. And I am black, but Mercury is just not retrograde. It's in retrograde. It's in a temporary mode right now that says stop, hold up, wait a minute, review everything that you're doing, review everything that you're talking about, review what's going on in your life. And again, back up your documents, back up your computer files, don't sign in on any contracts, don't sign on the dotted lines. Reorganize your words. Be careful of how you talk to people. That's for anyone with Virgo rising, moon in Virgo. Or again, if you want to know where this and how this retrograde is affecting you in your astrology chart, give me a call right now. We're live from Money Making Manhattan in New York City. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. So, what do we have up next? far as astrological highlights for August 2017. Now, we have, since the name of the show is called Astrology Numerology Now, let's talk a little bit of numerology for a second. Now, from a numerology point of view, August 2017, it's a number nine universal month. It's a number nine universal month. 2017 is a number one universal year. But we see it right there without the lower third. 2017 is a number nine universal month. Nine in the numbers of numerology. We can find that again, control room. Let's put it back up. Nine in the number numerology is about endings is about completions 
and it's about my smartphone going off when it's uh, going off when it's not supposed to. And this is some of the things that that's going to happen uh, during this Mercury retrograde. Technical things happen. I remember a couple of years here at Manhattan Neighborhood Network during a Mercury retrograde, we had no phones for like six weeks. We had no phones, none. So these are, you know, your phone service will break down, your smartphone will break down. Don't get mad and throw it out the windows, only temporary. We got all these crazy things that are happening in the world right now. And, and I want to give my condolences to the family of the young lady who lost her life in Charlotte, uh, Charlottesville, uh, Virginia. I mean, this world is crazy. This world is crazy. It just so happens it started on the very first day of Mercury retrograde. And there's more to come. There's more to come. Give me a call right now in New York City, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, Staten Island, Chinatown, Upper East Side, Lower West Side. Let's show them the number to talk astrology control room, 212-757-1393. If you're watching on the Time Warner, uh, excuse me, not even Time Warner, but the Spectrum Television Network, turn your channels to channel 1993. Thank you, control room. Turn your channels to 1993 and watch the show in glorious high definition. If you're watching on any other channel, it's in standard definition. But I want you to watch the show on Spectrum Television Channel 1993. Okay, let's take this first call. Caller, you're on Astrology Numerology Now with Z Star Man. Hello, caller. Yes, hello. How you doing, brother? Turn your radio down for, or I'm, I oh, do radio, but I want TV. you to turn your TV down and only okay. listen to me through your telephone. Okay, I can hear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's your name and where are you calling from? It's James from, from Harlem. Hey, James from Harlem. What day is your birthday? Uh, 8, 10, 48. 8, 10, 48. Have we talked before? Oh, yes, uh-huh. Yeah, you, you sound familiar, James. Happy belated yeah. birthday, brother. Yeah, uh-huh. Leo yeah. season. Now, how can I help you tonight, Mr. James? Yeah, I'd like to know how this retrograde is going to affect me. Mm. Okay, well, for the most part, I don't know how, I don't know if we've uh, spoken off air or anything like that, or if you're one of my uh, clients. I have a lot of James clients, and mm. I do recognize that you're Leo. But from a solar angle, do you know your, your moon sign and your rising sign? No, I think my, I think my moon, I think it's a, um, I don't know, I have to call you up because do, of. Do you know your rising sign? That's determined by your birth time. What time were you born? 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. 11 a.m. So you could have, and I'm, I'm just guesstimating right now, you can have like a Scorpio rising sign. Right, Scorpio rising. I think Capricorn uh, moon sign. But Scorpio rising sign. Now, moon sign. Right. You know, it's lucky that you're calling into the live show to get this information right now. Mm -hmm. Now, with Scorpio rising sign, and I have a YouTube video up for anyone who wants to see that talks about. Uh, Mercury retrograde through the signs. You can go to Gem Sag Productions or you can go to Z Starman and find that YouTube video where I talk about the Mercury retrograde and how it affects all 12 signs of the zodiac. But for you, because every Leo is different, every Capricorn, every Scorpio is different, since you have Scorpio rising sign, James, this retrograde is going to be in your 11th house, your house of friends and hopes, wishes, and desires. Watch out for, you're old school like me, and you know the song, they smile in your face all the time, they want to take your oh. place. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Finish Backstab it. The backstabbers. Mm -hmm. right. Watch out for some of the backstabbers in your life, people who are saying that they're your friend and they're really not. Because Mercury retrograde is in your 11th house. It's in your house of hopes, wishes, and desires. Some things that you were expecting to materialize, 
especially with working with big organ, you know, big organizations, because the 11th House rules organization, they may not materialize, those hopes, wishes, and desires may not materialize until after Labor Day. Okay. So after Labor Day, that's when it'll be a better time and a, and a, a good time to have a better relationship with friends and family. Um, from a numerology point of view, again, the name of the show is Astrology Numerology Now. You are in a one personal year for 2017. Yeah. So, <coughs> excuse me. This is a year from a numerology point of view of starting over and doing things over. Mm -hmm. you no, know, the next chapter of your life is happening with the one personal year in 2017. So the, how the Mercury retrograde will affect you is watch out for your friends who say to your friends, some of your long range plans dealing with hopes, wishes, and desires, they're gonna be put on the back burner, but also, so today is the 14th, right? and I want all Capricorns and all Cancers to be aware of this aspect if you're watching live, is that we have Venus opposing Pluto. Venus is in the sign of Cancer, and in about another 24 hours, it's going to be opposite in Pluto. So that can be very stressful for you too, uh, James. Be careful of not to let anyone uh, make you angry or upset because that's the plan. That's the plan for you to get angry and upset. And brother, you don't want to catch a case. Just be, let's chill. Okay. Let's chill and, and um, check your finances also. Because somebody's getting some of your money that's not supposed to have it. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. James, um, thank you, James. I'm going to put up my number for anyone who wants to talk astrology and numerology with me, especially with this Mercury retrograde that's going to last until the 5th of December. Uh, excuse me, the 5th of December. Uh, let's put up that number, my contact number. There it is, 646-389-1311. 646-389-1311 if you want astrological news and information as it personally relates to you. Now is the time to give me the call, 646-389-1311. Or you can find me on social media, Z Starman, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I'm all over the place. But let's get back to this astrology news and information that we have to talk about. Now, what everybody is talking about is on August 21st, we're going to have a solar eclipse in the sign of Leo. We're gonna have a solar eclipse. It's called the Great American Eclipse. And that's gonna be in the sign of Leo on August 21st, 2017 from about 1.23 p.m. to about 4 o'clock. And what is an eclipse, a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse is when the earth, excuse me, when the moon comes between the sun and the earth and it blackens out the earth. And what we're getting uh, on the 21st is the great American eclipse. This is the first time that this eclipse will happen and it will, be, it will be visible from Oregon to South Carolina. This is the first eclipse that happens in the United States or visible in most of the United States uh, since uh, for the last 99 years. Is it gonna be special? Yes, it will, because once in a lifetime, you hardly ever see this cosmic phenomena of the moon coming between the sun and broad daylight here in the United States. It's in the sign of Leo, so it's gonna get very dramatic. It's gonna get very dramatic. The country is getting ready to change, y'all, as proven in Charlottesville, Virginia, over the weekend. The country's getting ready to change with this so-called great American eclipse and Mercury retrograde and Mars in the sign of Leo at the same time. Lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. 
<laughs> you know, we're all fans of the Wizard of Oz, at least I am. But be mindful of this eclipse that's coming up on August 21st. If you're watching in Brooklyn, I know it's going to be after, or Brooklyn in any city across America. Watch out for the after effects because eclipses, we just had a lunar eclipse a week ago, and now next week we're going to have a solar eclipse. It's going to affect Leos. I'm worried about all my Leo people. And, I'm, and you have to know where this is happening in your astrology chart. This is an eclipse that's going to change the country. Previous eclipses in, in uh, solar eclipses was the Nat Turner Revolution in the 1800s during a solar eclipse across the United States. So wherever there's a solar eclipse, it's going to be major changes. Now, before we go, I got to say one more thing. Saturn. Saturn is going direct. Saturn is going direct, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Saturn has been retrograde. The ruler of Capricorn, or if you have Capricorn rising, your ruling planet is going direct. It's currently in the sign of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius people will finally get some relief because Saturn is moving forward and by the end of the year it's going to be leaving Sagittarius. And be ready. Saturn is ready to, to sort of kind of give people what they owe. The universe can't take this drama anymore, Donald Trump and things are about to be revealed. I wouldn't be surprised if Donald Trump said during the solar eclipse that this is too much for him. This is too much, I wanna give up. Hey y'all, I'm gonna resign. I don't wanna be president anymore. Let Mike Pence do it, all right? So look out for that. But one last thing is that Venus is about to go into the sign of Leo. Let's show them that Venus and Leo one more time. Venus and Leo. Venus is in Leo from August 26th to September 19th, or August 26th to September 19th. Venus in the sign of Leo. So some great news for all you Leo people. Everything is not doom and gloom. Just hold on, keep calm, and stay in the light. This is Z Starman saying peace, Love, light, call me, dumb to stay. Remember, luck is no such thing. One man succeeds while another man fails. Why is it then you ask the stars up above? The planets of light who controls your very soul from the beginning of the earth. Thank you.